I just released my first set of Lightroom presets ever. And I'm pretty excited about it. Anyways, let's move on to how the presets work. So I've just released my very first Lightroom preset pack ever. I've called it the starter pack for many reasons, but mainly because it's how you will get a wide variety of my photography looks on your photography. So these are presets that I use in my own photography, obviously, um, and I've tweaked them a little bit so that they'll work on your photos or a wide variety of photos too. I called it the starter pack because it's a bunch of different looks. It's a great place to start if this is your first preset pack or like a few of these just work great on all photos. Let's just dive right into it and I'll show you guys how to use them before I say anything else. First things first, you're going to have to import these into Lightroom. So after you've purchased them, you will have a list of these. This is my own folder here, but you'll have your own zip folder. So de-archive that and you'll have a list of the presets here. So there are six presets, Aluna, Baywatch, Cairo, Denim, Rosewater, and Tolt. They're cool names. If you really wanna know why I named them this, then maybe leave a comment or DM me on Instagram and then I'll give you the full explanation of why I named them that. But anyway, so this is how you'll load your presets into Lightroom. So first thing you're gonna do is open up Lightroom and go to your preferences. And then you're going to go to show Lightroom presets folder. Double click on Lightroom, go into develop presets. And then you are going to take your presets and you're gonna take your preset folder, put it right in there. So then you'll have to quit Lightroom and open it back up again. Next, I'm gonna show you what these presets look like on my photos and hopefully what they'll look like on your photos. So some of these, because I've had some real fun with the colors, can look very different on different types of photos, but I'm gonna point out some of the key things I've done in each preset and how I think it's going to look on some of your photos. So the first one we're going to talk about is Aluna. Then all you have to do is go on down to your presets and we'll go to LP-Aluna and we'll just apply that. So right now you can see it's still a little bit dark. So I'm probably just gonna bring up the exposure even more. And sometimes if the color seems a little wacky, I'll just go ahead and hit auto. And this made the blues a little bit less intense, but as you can see in the final version um, that I put as the example, I kept these blues, so it's up to you. I would recommend hitting auto if the colors look a little wacky, just because I feel like you're gonna get the true effect of the preset. But really, Aluna is just a general boost for a photo. Um, it has some really nice teals and oranges, which are, my favorite colors, if you can't tell by looking at my Instagram. Aluna is one of the presets I would say that works the best on a large variety of photos. It's one of my favorite ones from this collection, basically. So the next one I wanna to talk to you guys about is Tolt. So a lot of you guys love this photo of the horse I took, and I believe Tolt is the type of horse um, that this is, the type of Icelandic horse. So that's why I called it Tolt. I have no idea if I'm saying it correctly, but um, you guys love this photo, so I wanted to be able to give you guys the settings um, that I used on it. Here, I'll go ahead and, and show you the before and after right away with the preset. Bam! Basically it looks like this. Basically it looks like the finished one. Basically the same. All I did is I brought the highlights down a lot, like all the way, and that may not work on your photo, um, so I would recommend probably bringing those up a little bit. You'll probably have to, as well as the luminance and possibly the saturation in the blues. If there is a blue sky, um, you may want to adjust that. I also played a lot around with the oranges and red tones. So if you're putting this on a portrait, you may have to adjust the skin tones a little bit because it depends on everybody's skin tone. I'm very fair, so that would make me look totally orange, but on this horse, because of the color of its hair, it works. The next one I wanna to talk to you guys about is Rosewater. 
and that's what I used on this photo here. So what you'll notice is there's some pinks in the sky. Um, again, I've done a little bit with the blues. The shadows are a little bit lifted. Um, the yellows are a little bit uh, desaturated, not too vibrant. Um, so I'll just show you guys the before and after. So this is the photo before. And then you go to Rosewater. And bam. There you go, how great does that look? Um, so what you'll notice with this preset on a large variety of photos is that all of your highlights are gonna look a little pinkish. It has a really light, pinky, airy nature to it. If you have a photo with a lot of white in it, it actually gives it a pretty cool faded effect too. The next one I wanna talk to you guys about is Cairo. And that's what I used on this photo here. So Cairo is a lot like a Luna in the sense that I feel like it works on almost any photo. The only real difference is that it has a really warm sky and really warm highlights. So Cairo is probably in my top two of this collection. So I'll show you guys the before and after really quick. So this is the photo with nothing on it. Add Cairo and there you go. And I'm pretty sure I brought up the shadows even more in this photo. Cairo, a warmer tinged preset. The next preset I wanna show you guys is denim. So if you guys remember my photo of the bird, I keep calling it just my bird photo. This is the preset I used to get started on that one. So it's really just a faded blue lifted shadows look. I love it. Um, here is the final photo. I've added a bit of a vignette and highlighted the center and I've added um, a few little, I guess, lens distortion elements on the side just to bring your eye to the center towards the bird. But I'll show you where this image started off. So it was still very blue as you can see, but the second you add denim, it really just fades all of those blues out. It's a little more teal now. Uh, I definitely brought down the exposure and made it a darker teal and I did change the blue a little bit into more of a bluey tone. I brightened the bird and then added some light to the center of the image to draw your eye to the bird. And already you can see it's looking a lot like the final version. Denim is another great one. It works on a large variety of photos, but it's really just light teal blues and lifted shadows. I love it. It's one of my favorites too. I think they're all some of my favorites. That's why you're getting them. And last but not least, Baywatch. So this is a bit more of a bold look, kind of like Tolt. It's not for everyone. It's very bright. It's very vibrant. I'm gonna show you what I mean. So in this particular photo, as you can see, it's pretty flat right now, but there is the red and the roses that should be coming in. And there's some color in the sky and in the snow that I really wanna make it pop because it's very flat and white right now. So second you go and add Baywatch, holy color. It has a ton of blues in the snow now, purples in the sky. You'll find on other photos that it actually adds a lot of pink as well. Just remember the white balance because that will definitely affect the look of the preset on your photo. And again, be aware of that with skin tones. A lot of these, the oranges and the yellows are really saturated. So you may actually have to, if you have a subject in the image who's fair like me, you may have to go in and desaturate their skin tones with a brush or just apply it to the whole image. So just be aware of that with these because oranges and teals are huge for me. Um, so they really pop and make sure that your skin tones look consistent by monitoring the white balance. And you may have to go in with a brush to do some adjustments. Those are the six presets I've released. Again, it is, let's see if I can remember them all. Baywatch, Denim, Cairo, Rosewater, Tolt, and Aluna. I hope you guys like them. If you have any questions about them, feel free to write it out in the comments. If you guys are planning on using these presets on some of your own photos and posting them to Instagram, I hope you do, please do. And don't forget to hashtag LizzieLR so that I can see them because I wanna see them on your photos. That would be so cool for me. Yeah, I hope you guys like these presets. I'm so excited that they're out into the world. Let me know what you think. Um, 
If you liked this video, now we're gonna do the spiel. If you like this video, please hit that like button below. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. I'd love to see you here every week. And last but not least, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when I post a new video. I'll see you guys next week.